What's happening guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog back here at Sensational Tint Wraps Detail. We got the M3 in, we are gonna be tinting all the windows on the M3. We're doing the front windshield at 50%, and the rest of it at 20%, and it's all ceramic tint by SunTech. SunTech, huge thank you. Lewis, say hi, back in the vlog, back in the channel. Andre, say hi, back in the vlog, back in the channel. <laughs> all right, so we wanted to meter, we wanted to meter the window tint that I have on here now because it honestly looks like a fishbowl. Like, it looks really, really light, so that was kind of why I wanted to change it. So it's 41%. So 41%, which is super light. Like, you could see right through it. The other issue that we had, was the back windshield, I couldn't even see out of it. I think he, you already took the back off, didn't you? So you already took the back uh, window tint out, which you actually used like a steam gun. And if, if you've never like smelt old glue before in tint, it's disgusting. You don't wanna smell that. So we're doing full, I think, are we doing the roof today? We're trying try to do the roof. Um, we have S-Tech gloss black wrap for the roof. I think we might try and do the mirrors and we might try and do the headlights. We're gonna see how much we can get done. Either way, try and make some progress. So I'm gonna show you guys along the way. What do y'all think? Reveal, we dropped it. Comments are overwhelmingly positive on the thick whip. Dude, I think we did a really good job. They killed it over here at Sensational. Such a wild color. We went to the first car show with it this morning. So much fun, such an interesting car or color of car, I should say. Really looks crazy. We got this beautiful red, what was the color of this car? Melbourne Red Metallic, right? Melbourne Red Metallic. This thing is just so sexy. E92 in red, man, it's hot. What do you guys think about those headlights? I'm on the fence, I'm on the fence. I really wanna see these headlights tinted with the Aztec. I think they're gonna look a lot, a lot better. Got the boys doing all the work. All the work. <laughs> that face says it all. Look at how yellow the roof is. So it's from the glue, right? So you said the adhesive. It does go away. You actually really can't even tell. You can't really see it in the camera. It looks white, but it's definitely yellow. You can feel like the glue, but it comes off if you leave it out in the sun. As you guys know, we hit 15K subs, thank you very much. But this spoiler is gonna be given away this week. I'm gonna do a video on the actual randomizer picking the person who won a spoiler, so you guys know I'm not like rigging this thing, and then I'll ship it out to them, and yeah, congrats whoever won. I've already made two, two? I've already made two of these. Uh, I haven't seen it. Okay, well. Oh, come on, that was so close. <laughs> it was the weight, because I was throwing these smaller ones, and, and this one's a lot bigger, so the, you know, the weight difference was off, and not that I'm uh, a couple weeks. Come on, seriously? Third, three in a row right now, three in a row. <laughs> oh! First try! First try! I did not try and do that like five other times. That was the first try. So we just put all this stuff out with the program in my car. We're cheating. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Bring it. Free cut for the car. No blades on the car. No scratches. No scratches, no blades. Looks like we got this one, this one. Still have to do the windshield. And then the back. We didn't do the back window yet either, right? So laying it all down, squeegeeing it out. It looks dark from back here, like looking at the windows. So that's the one benefit. Yeah, buddy. Got the car all tinted up. 50% on the front, 
20% all around. Got Lewis prepping the car for the roof wrap. See all that yellow glue from the last wrap. He's uh, clay barring it right now. And then we're gonna polish it. Get it ready for that nice new S-Tech. Gloss black PPF. It's gonna look good, It'll look good. It already looks so dark, look at that. In the camera you can't even see it, it just looks black. Dang, that looks good. Man. I am feeling that. Day two. So the carbon fiber kidney grills on the F30 are kind of going to crap, like they're starting to bubble up. It was a cheap grill that I got either on like Amazon or eBay, but it lasted me about a year. And after sitting out in the sun and everything, it just, it went bad. Eventually it just went bad over time. So I'm going back to the gloss black on the grill. And the carbon in the kidney grills just never quite matched all of like the higher end carbon that I had on the car. So I just figured, you know what? I'm just gonna go back to black and just pull back on the carbon fiber. I'm actually thinking about painting the carbon fiber eyelids black as well, or just doing like a gloss black uh, film on them. So we're gonna head back to Sensational. I'm gonna throw these in the F30 and then we're also going to see where we're at with the M3. Got a bunch of stuff going down with that. I picked up some touch up paint from BMW, new emblems. We're doing a full paint correction as well as Lewis is finishing the roof wrap. He finished the tint already. And then we have a new bumper coming in for the front end that's gotta get painted and a new spoiler for the back that's gonna get painted. It's actually a carbon fiber spoiler, but I'm paint matching it to the car. So let's head over there and check in with him. Looking good. So let's see if I can show you guys what I'm talking about. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it in the video, but the there's like all of this bulging happening. And the carbon just looks just looks really warped and old. So it doesn't look bad on video, but in person you can see it. I just think I just think black is gonna be cleaner. So we're going back to gloss black. I turned off my cold start. So much better. So I've been running this uh, stage two boot mode now for a couple of days and it is so fun. The car is noticeably faster. So, we are at Sensational back at the shop with the boys. And a little bit better lighting in here now. But, you can see how that's coming up. It's not terrible, but it's enough to annoy someone like me. So, we're gonna pull them off. Throw on the gloss black. And I'm gonna do this without taking the bumper off. So all you have to do is reach in. There's little clips, individual clips. You just pull them until you go all the way around and then just pull out and the whole thing comes out. All right, old ones are off. Bam, dude, the black is so clean, so clean. I was just talking to Lewis, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these off and we're just gonna use some black S-Tech film, some vinyl and make our own, just so they match the black a little bit better. But yeah, black is the way to go for sure. That's the way to go for sure. And you don't need to take the bumper off to do this. Um, I know some people were saying you have to, you don't. You can sneak your fingers back here, pop this one out. Once you get this one out, this one's really easy because you can just access it from there. So, super clean, way better. So last piece, we just gotta put this on right there. <laughs> just kidding. All right, so we're set with that. Finished up the F30. I had to glue this carbon on because it kept coming up. So we used some glue in there. It's good now. All good. So I decided to pick up a Lamborghini Urus. It's the new daily. Let me know if you guys like it. <laughs> things, things, things. Okay, so we took off the rear spoiler on the M. I'm gonna show you guys what we've done so far. Um, I ordered new badges for the trunk and the hood. Got a little bit of touch up paint and I took off the M3 badge. 
So basically, we're doing a full paint correction and full detail, polish, buff, all that stuff. We're gonna ceramic the entire car. So what we need to do is take off all the badges because as you can see, they're just gross underneath. Lewis is finishing up the roof, which looks insane. This S-Tech gloss black is, man, it is so clean. So the S-Tech is also PPF. So it's self-healing in the heat and then it also repels water, like wicks water, just like a ceramic coating would. So we're gonna finish that up and then we're using the same material for the shark fin and the mirror caps. So I'm gonna go black on the mirror caps. Didn't wanna do carbon on those. As you can see, we have a bunch of crap on here. So we gotta clean that up. This is also gonna get polished, obviously, with the entire car. And then I have a new spoiler that's coming that's carbon fiber. It's a little more aggressive, but I'm gonna have it paint matched to the car. The only carbon on the car is gonna be on the lower side. So the rear diffuser, side skirt extensions, and then the front lip. We also have the new bumper coming this week. So everything is gonna get painted and fixed up this week. Just gotta pull this off and then I'm doing the black M3 badge. So that's kind of where we're at right now. It's looking good, man. It's looking so good. I did order the double slatted grills. I just like that look a little bit better than the singular ones. And this one, it has like matte on the inside and then gloss on the outside. The double slatted are gloss all the way through. Kind of like the ones I just did for the F30, which I think are gonna look way cleaner on this. So this is gonna take us about a week to wrap this whole project up. We have people coming to address the different parts that need to be painted. I do have a little ding that's gonna get taken out. And then we're gonna finish up all the wrapping, the polishing, the buffing, PPFing, and the ceramic coating and I'll keep you guys in the loop. This video was kind of random just because I wanted to put in the gloss grill for the F30, and then I also wanted to show you the updates of the M3. Obviously, you guys know where to come. If you need any detailing, PPFing, ceramic coating, wrapping, all that stuff, tinting, obviously tinting. We've done all the tinting on this car. Looks really good. So I went with 50% on the front, 20% all around. It's perfect. So like I said, if you guys are local and you need any of that done, Make sure you come to my guys. Sensational tint wraps detail. Anyways guys, I'm gonna wrap this one up. Thank you for watching the video. Please do subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. Like this video, hit that bell notification. Just like that, this video is over. And we're out of here. Peace.